Well, this is our final chapter of Photoshop. In this, we are going to create a perfect realistic photo manipulation with the help of different tools and techniques which we have learned till now, right? So, we, this is a practical time which you need to implement the photo or the skills which you have learned to the photograph. So, if any further delay, let's get straight into the magical world of Photoshop, guys. beautiful people out there and this is Ashish from you know Ashville creations and guys this is our final chapter in which we are going to create amazing trending Instagram photo manipulation for you know our Instagram post so the very first thing you need to do is just capture some creative and unique kind of photos at your terrace or whatever the you know at any of the roads or whatever you can just capture that kind of photos in good pose right that is very important now here we are going to select the photo so what we have learned in our previous lessons is if you want to select the photo we will just use the quick selection tool or just click on this quick selection tool and just directly click on the select subject so it will automatically select the whole image from the photo right as you can see it has done almost everything over here just here it is a leftover just press the alt key from the keyboard so it will just reduce or subtract that selection from the photo now as you can see here we have to you know select the hairs of the model that is a very important thing in the photo editing guys right so what we are going to do is just right click on it and select the select and mask option if you are using photoshop cc version you will get this option or else you are if you are using the photo of cs6 then you will find a refiner edge tool over there now here we will select the select and mask option now you have to make sure that you have selected this second brush that is refine edge brush tool right now just click on this and you can increase or decrease the size of the brush with the help of this bracket key from the keyboard right now all you need to do is just you know roll on the edges of the models hairs so it will automatically detect the you know edges and it will select the details of the hairs very precisely so this is the very best part of you know this uh, tool or what is said the refine and select and mask option this will you know create your hairs or select the hairs very precisely and with perfection now just hit ok and you are done as you can see we have done almost every process of you know editing or uh, you know selecting the photo now we are going to create or duplicate this particular photo as our you know cut out image so what we are going to do is just right click on it and select layer via copy option or you can directly press ctrl j from the keyboard that is a shortcut key now just click on this and you can see we have made a layer of a different layer right so uh, as you can see i have already cut out right so as a reference let's just duplicate the original layer so just hit ok make a duplicate layer of the background layer right so the next thing we are going to do is crop the photo for our instagram so what we are going to do is just select the crop tool and from here we are going to select the 8 is to 10 ratio right guys so 8 is to 10 ratio that is our instagram ratio this is this is this guys you have to keep sure and very much Keep in mind the ratio if you want to post the photograph for your Instagram then use the 8 is to 10 ratio for your you know feed or post right now we're gonna just stretch along in the direction or increase the size of this to around here just like this way and as you can see this one is literally looking so cool guys right now here we are going to add a background to the photograph so what we're gonna do is just go to the file click on open and here we here is the background which we are going to add now you can just download this background from the links in the description or i'll just put that link and everything kind of stop in you know that all the you know photographs which we have learned in every different lessons that we, i will just put those all the link in one zip file so you can just download it along with this lessons now just just drag it and drop over here or you can directly press ctrl a to select all ctrl c to copy and ctrl v to paste right so this is a shortcut key but here i'm just dragging and dragging and dropping over here 
it is quite simple and easy now let's go to the edit and select the free transform and we're gonna just increase the size of this whole image right now just increase it in the way you want now I just want to increase it somewhere over here just make sure that it look kind of more realistic and kind of amazing let's just keep it somewhere over this position you can always decrease the size of the canvas this is also very totally up to you guys let's just place this somewhere over here now this one is literally looking so cool I guess now here it is very important thing that is what is that now guys <clears throat> here we have to merge the background as you can see this one is not looking original and here is the original or the you know image which we have captured so we have to merge it so what we will do is just add a layer mask on this background layer select the brush tool and make sure you have selected the white black color on the foreground right now increase the size of the brush and just erase it so that it may kind of merge with the background or this image right so it is very much important to you know merge it so that it may look kind of more realistic which we actually want so as you can see we have perfectly merged this process or this uh, legs of this model with the original background so this one seems to be very very creative and kind of more realistic now again we will just increase the size or end canvas total so what else we are going to do is just increase the canvas size just stretch it along the way to here right as you can see this one is looking kind of very perfect still you can just adjust the perspective and kind of cropping according to you according to your convenience right so as you can see we have completed or cropped the thing to hold in properly very perfectly right so what else we are going to do is let's just stretch it a bit and you are done so as you can see we have blended the image with the background very perfectly right without losing any or you know details or making it look more realistic now all we need to do is just press ctrl l on this subject layer what we are going to just press ctrl l just a move the slider from left to right only up to this where the details are present just only up to here so we have to very much keenly do this process of leveling just to do it on the starting point of this where it is empty right so this is how you have to make these levels as you can see we have made the levels and it is looking kind of very perfect also do the same process on this background layer that we have made a duplication right just press ctrl l and make here six and just hit ok so this is how you have to make all right now the next thing we are going to do is what let's just select the background as you can see our photo or this you know the ground is actually kind of less blue and the background is actually bluish type of right so what we are going to do is just decrease the blueness or the blue color from this background so just press ctrl plus u on this image and select the click on this hand button and just click on this blue color select the saturation and just decrease the saturation according to your background wherever it matches until it matches right so this is how you have to decrease the saturation of this blue tone as you can see this one is literally looking so perfect now the next thing we are going to do is just merge all the layers just right click on it and select merge layers and the next thing again just crop once again crop tool and just hit, hit enter now just go to the filter select the camera and here the real color grading process starts guys right so we are going to adjust manually the process of color grading now here we are gonna increase the contrast of the photo increase the shadows and increase the blackness from the photograph 
So as you can see this one is really looking very very amazing. Let's increase the whiteness a bit. And now here guys we are going to fix all the way of the skin tone. First of all we'll just make a little bit of adjustment. Let's add a clarity to the photo to plus 5. Now just add a vignette if you really want otherwise I don't recommend just adding a vignette. Now just smooth the slider of this blue primary color just a bit to around minus 25. Increase the saturation to plus 11. Now just go to the hue and saturation tab that is HSL tab now go to the hue and we're gonna fix the skin tone right so what we are going to do is just go to the saturation decrease the saturation from the face so as you can see I'm decreasing the saturation I'm getting the perfect skin tone on the face also the redness if it is necessary or just keep it as it is just decrease the saturation a bit and select the hue and make it to around yellowish the skin tone should be of the ye perfect yellowish color so that is very important thing over here so you need to understand and learn right now here just move the slider a bit just a little bit around minus one because we want to make a perfect kind of you know teal color of this jeans right so that's why now you can add a sh shadows let's make a 209 increase the saturation of these shadows so as you can see as I am increasing the saturation it is literally making your photo an amazing kind of look if you want you can just add otherwise just leave it this one is also literally looking so perfect let's just make uh, highlights if you need you can just make an highlights of the yellow tone because we want to create a kind of sunset or sunlight kind of effect so we are doing this process now add a sharpening to the photo a bit and you are done almost so everything process we have just completed let's make a little bit of correction to plus 5 to make a perfect skin tone now just hit ok and you are done so as you can see we have fixed the perfection of this whole image and it is really looking very very creative right so the next thing we are going to do is just a dodging and burning process to the photograph so what we are going to do is just make a duplicate of this image change the blending mode to mold a screen now double right click on it and select the blending options now just press the alt key from the keyboard and just move the slider so it will just open up one more slider over here and just hit ok now again just duplicate from the original layer by pressing ctrl or command j place it on top of all the image now we, are, we will just name it as a dodge on this layer and we gonna just name it as a burn on this layer right change the blending mode to multiply just right click on it and select blending options press the alt key from the keyboard and just move the slider from right to left and we will create a you know the burning effect now just select both by pressing the shift key and by pre uh, selecting both press ctrl G to add a group to the photo so as you can see we have made a group now add a layer mask on this go to the image select the apply image go to the level sorry from the layer we will just go to the layer one and just hit ok and you are done so as you can see we have perfectly created a dodging and burning on the face which is really looking so perfect and amazing so this is how you can use this technique to make a dodge and burn now just merge both the layers and you are done so as you can see that if I, here was the before and here is the after i hope you all have enjoyed this series or the lessons and you have learned the photo editing skills now you can just you know make your photos to look more and more creative and amazing and just make your instagram to a next level and i hope you to be a fashion influencer and just create and increase your follower 
and just be a very famous right for your Instagram on online so guys thank you for watching and see you in our next video tutorials tutorials and watch our you know YouTube channel and do subscribe over there so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome